All right, welcome and welcome back. Thank you for joining me for another beautiful stream. <laughs> this time we're trying out Stellar Hub, a space station simulator. Now, with this, I did actually have problems before uh, because I had tried to play this game and it just wasn't really... Um, it wasn't working for me, so... I actually got in contact with uh, some of the devs through their little uh, help and troubleshoot page whenever their game launched, and they were actually quite responsive. A little bit um, confusing at first with what was going on. Uh, turns out Steam didn't properly you know, download all the files or something, and then on top of that, they don't exactly support high-definition uh, stuff, so it was a little bit of a, a trial to get it to work. And right now it looks like it's working every Pretty well, I got everything's loading. So we're going to go ahead and dive in and try out this Space Station Simulator, which is supposed to be more of a um, puzzle-type game, not too in-depth with strategy, but it is part strategy as well. It has a lot of uh, work that they're still working on, still providing updates pretty regularly uh, to try to get this more balanced, better fixed, and such. All right, so just giving us a little bit more time to get all in, and uh, we'll get started. Wanted to make sure all my stuff was ready as well. So with this, I'm going to go ahead and jump into the tutorial, because I haven't ever played this, and this is one of my first tries. So, yeah. So if you don't want to see some spoilers, I guess, then don't watch. This is what we're starting with. And if this crashes like it did before, I'll be so upset. But it probably won't because I fixed all the files. And go figure, it crashes. <laughs> I might have to actually go down to a lower uh, resolution. Oh, wait, nope, it didn't crash. It just took a very long time. All right, here we go. So the Stellar Hub training course allows you to learn the basic principles of the game. Note the buttons and the prat of the interface. The prat part of the interface. The typing just kind of confuses me a little bit because it kind of merges together. Part of the interface elements have pop-up prompts that appear when you point to the mouse cursor. Blah, blah, blah. Some controls on the screen will be locked until explained. After completing this course, you might want to take an advanced course in which you will be able to master it. Blah, blah, blah. You're the captain of a space station. Your main tasks are construction, personnel management, resource extraction, research, defense, trade, and tourism. That's a lot on my plate. To do this, you have a set of tools, both direct and indirect. For example, the choice of modules for construction, the distribution of the station's crew roles, and the sale and purchase of resources. Uh, the next step is to learn the basic controls for navigating the station. Total number of people at the station, including tourists and other characters. Oxygen reserves. Energy reserves. Sun activity is the amount of energy supplied from the solar panels depends on the level of solar activity. So money required for the construction of modules and paying staff and blah blah blah. Most important, to, the most important resources and their amounts are displayed here. Clicking on the event pans the camera to it. Menu, construction, research, and inter interior control panel. Excuse me. Mouse, left arrow button, or A. Uh, oh, okay. So it's just tell me, scroll left, scroll right, blah, blah, blah. Probably don't need props for that. Probably just need a window for that. Is mouse wheel or Z and X buttons? Z and X. Whoa. So I'm told that this, you can zoom out, but you can't manage from here. You can just zoom out. Uh, click on the station hub. Okay, we got it. This is the main station module. Connects all the modules to the station and construction begins with it. 
The Haba has a built-in oxygen tank and energy storage. These reserves should be sufficient until you build an oxygen production station and solar panels. If you zoom out, it is possible to see the blocked sectors on the map. To open them, you will need to build one or more hub modules. The destruction of all hubs as well as the death of the whole crew means the end of the game. So don't get people killed or destroyed. Here are the buttons for this module. Okay. This one opens a window with an expanded description. This one instructs technicians that this module needs to be repaired first. A disabled module is not operational and does not consume energy, so that would be disabled? Yeah. Destroy module would, yeah, imminent destruction. All right, click the interior mode to see the interior. You will spend most of the time playing in this mode. Ah, it'll monitor and control your personnel. In the interior mode, you can see what is going on outside. For example, oh, what is going on outside? You can't see what's going on outside. Okay. Arriving and departing ships or asteroids wandering in space. For this, you'll need to switch back to the external view. Click on the character. I clicked it. Your crew is the basis for the normal operation. In order for the characters to do the job, you should ensure that their needs have been met. They have need to be fed, have a place to sleep, remain healthy. Otherwise, the characters will not do anything. The bigger station, the more people are required to run it. It's a lot of people. For more information about the status effects, hover over. Uh, this is how much oxygen is something to this character. Kind of cuts off. There we go. Of course, that's in the way. For more information about the attribute, hover over your mouse over it. Yeah. That doesn't do anything. There's no attribute. Anyone can work in any role. Give direct orders, browse characteristics, and set dismiss characters. Select the worker role. It is already set. Workers are needed only for carrying cargo around the station. Of course, why can't we get drones to do that? I mean, this is space, right? Before you appoint someone as a worker, look through their characteristics to find out how strong and fast they are. The higher the physical strength of the worker, the more resources they can carry. The rate of movement is also important. But strong, as strong but very slow workers, not quite as effective. All physical parameters of any character can be improved in the gym. Good. The role assigned to each crew member is an important part of the game. The survival station is blah blah blah, someone can be good at medic, someone can be a scientist, you can assign any role to any character, but success is not guaranteed. For example, a character assigned by you as a medic who does not have any medical skills can hurt or even kill a patient. Thank you. So now we're going to go ahead and build another sector section. And the layout is actually kind of, what is the word? Puzzle-esque or whatever, because it's each section and it's very 2D. So, yeah. So we're going to place a general piece here, looks like. Construction of the new module will begin. The quantity of resources required are displayed in the panel. No special kills, spills, or spills, yes, spills, are required. This is not applicable to the repair or follow-up video action. This is, should be done by specialist technicians. Technician is an important member of the crew. They can perform several types of work, such as assembly of modules, repair and damage structures. To repair a module successfully, the technician must possess the repair skill to, make, to take follow-up remedial actions, the skills of life support, leaks of oxygen, the breakdowns, blah, 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 the firemen, blah, 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 blah. So, that's a really long example. The skills of life support are needed to take follow-up remedial actions. The skills of life support are needed. Okay. That's what happens when you don't read it thoroughly, I guess. Click on the character. Oh, um, come here. Select the technician role. Wait for the worker to deliver the resources, and then the technician will build the module. Build it, and they will come. That was not as advertised. This module is the easiest and cheapest build. It connects modules together, and it does not consume energy. It has minimal structure integrity. 
Using connecting sections, one can quickly reach isolated sectors on the map. Our, next, our station needs to energy, so the next step is to build the solar panels. Could have just built that there. Oh, I guess this is the place where the solar panels come and play. So we're going to production and then special module solar panels. Looks like solar panels to me. I don't know why we can't just attach it to something like that. Wait for the worker to deliver. I don't know how there's a sunset whenever it's space. Ah, uh, it's so slow, oh my god. If I hit three, maybe? Yeah, that goes a little faster. Two is regular play, three is a little faster, four is super fast. Look at that, generation. Although it's not actually getting it because it's not built yet. Boom, generated. That's really noisy too. Alright, different sectors can produce different amounts of energy. The current value is displayed in the lower right corner of the sector and depends on the solar activity at the moment. Each solar panel has, so has a, stores a small amount of energy. So now our solar panels are pretty much filled this up. Almost all modules of the station consume energy, with the exception of connecting sectors, the solar panels, the energy storage, and the reactor. Blah blah blah, the kind of amount of energy can be seen. Now it's time to think about production of oxygen. Click the button. Select oxygen plant. Oxygen plant. This here. Uh, okay. As you say, Captain Commander. Wait for the workers to deliver the resources and the technician will build the module. Speed up! Speed it up, I say. We don't have all day. All the resources there. I don't know why they're checking out the solar plant. I'd be kind of bored too, though, if I had nothing to do. And, yeah. Well done, this is the most important roles in blah 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 blah. This is only possible to install an oxygen plant close to the gas clouds. In such case, if there's another cloud without any anomalies, the station will switch to it. Oxygen is necessary. The current amount of oxygen is displayed at the main panel. It is not just enough to build an oxygen plant, you also need to assign an oxygen extractor operator. Of course I do. So you must be operations of extraction. These are professionals who operate oxygen plants. Standard work shift. Shift is successful. You get a certain amount of oxygen. Successful. Blah, blah, blah. Success of the work shift and output depends on the professionalism of the operator. A lay person has a high chance to get nothing. And to cause damage to the station, cause an accident, or even make the station inoperative. Great. Let's see how much oxygen can be extracted. Okay. <laughs> They're all just like standing in the opening. Oh, it's pretty out there. Alright. There we go. Great work, you managed to get a bit of oxygen. <laughs> Notice that after each work shift, your character gains experience and improves skills in the current role. In this case, oxygen extraction skills improved, and the amount of experience depends on the intelligence setting. The smarter your character is, the faster he learns. Well, ain't that special. Press the skills button. Well, I was reading that. This is a complete list of skills that the station crew member can have. Also pay attention to the section called personality. Any character... Any character can learn any skill given enough time. Just assign them to the role. While they are learning, the character will make a lot of mistakes. But in the end, they will become a specialist. So this guy is definitely an oxygen harvester. And he's a workaholic. And he's sickly, apparently. It's time to start mining resources. This means drilling into asteroids and collecting more minerals. And you can sell them later on. Or process them into resources, such as metal or plastic. Let's build a mining platform. I'm guessing down here, mining up here. Okay. 
Work for the worker, deliver the resources. We'll speed that up. Come on, lazy bones. Everybody's waiting on you to haul, which is ridiculous because they have arms too. Spartacus could not collect oxygen. Wow. This module is equipped with a special mining laser and can only work if the operator operates the controls. Uh, if there are several asteroids, they can be different types. Same as oxygen, basically. Oh, there are two types of asteroids. Some contain iron ore, while others contain minerals. Both types are always present on the map and can be situated in different places. Metal can be processed. Blah, blah, blah. Getting tired of reading the tutorial stuff. <laughs> Selecting the miner role. All right, professional miners have two skills, namely ore mining and mineral mining, and enables them to or drill equally efficient, equally efficiently both iron and mineral asteroids. I wonder how much ore he can collect. Hmm. I don't know, but this guy's really failing at oxygen. But of course, we're kind of full anyway. I think. And this is our minerals, or this is our metals, this is plastics, this is drinks and food or something, and this is medicine, and this is something else. I, I don't really know. This button says emergency exit. <laughs> don't press it, buddy. Your miner harvested some ore and put it into... A box. Boxes with the resources can lie on the floor, anywhere at the station. Wow. They look the same, regardless of their contents. To see what's inside the box, just point your mouse at it. Boxes can be left by miners, refinery operators, farmers, and botanists. Okay. One of your crew members is hungry. Well, I don't blame him. He's been working for like three days without food. Right, yep. This is going to tell us that there's stuff to be crew member facilities and to eat and restore and blah 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 blah. So click on a character. Character needs to eat, obviously. Click on the button. Select a canteen. Uh, I'm guessing that's this. Canteen. Place here. Wait for the worker. Speed it up. So there's a mineral box right there. These are gears, medicine, metals, whatever that is. All new crews have their meals there. There's a separate module for tourists. There are only six seats in the canteen. Food is necessary and is brought to the canteen by workers. The crew member is in a bad mood. Oh, he's rolling on the floor sleeping or something. The mood of the crew members is very important. I've heard of this. Characters with a bad mood will refuse to perform their duties. Well, that could kill them. Mood fall falls very slowly if the character does nothing and falls very quickly while at work or if, for example, they get ill. Okay. Click on the character. Oh my gosh. This is putting me to sleep. To cheer them up, let's build a lounge deck. That's fine with me. Let's, let's do it. It's a pretty straightforward uh, game. And I, I feel like I already know the, the reasoning behind most of this, so. Wait for the worker. Another stupid day. Bored, bored, bored. They're so unhappy. Oh, he got food. He's happy now. He's happy too. He's looking at that emergency exit for some reason. This guy's going back to auction work. That guy's just flipping around. The module is the easiest way and cheapest way to cheer up your crew. Fiber massage beds and the soft armchairs effectively, although very slowly, will restore months to morale. At the initial stages of development your station, it is only a way to maintain the morale of your crew. That's sad. Medbay. there's an accident, will there be enough spacesuits? Good question. I don't know if we're restoring spacesuits, but one would hope you brought your own. Oh, 
Without a med bay, there is no way to treat diseases and injuries on your station. This may result in the death of your entire crew, a qualified medic, and availability of medicines are required for the normal operation of the med bay. There are only two coaches couches in the med bay unit. So you have a big station. You'll need either a few medical units during an epidemic, and it's very difficult to treat all patients with only one medical facility. One of your crew members is sick, obviously. So these are the the stages of disease and injured injury. So infectious disease light, infectious disease heavy, usual disease light, usual disease heavy, and bleeding one. Okay. So he's got a usual disease light. So you can vaccinate people. Okay, click on the med bay. Uh, it's clicked. Click on the character. This character's sick before his illness takes the turn for the worst. Let's send him to the medical unit. Okay, go to med bay. Perfect, the patient has been sent to the med bay. Sign a medic. Click on this character. Sign them to medic. They will heal people now. You must possess three skills. First aid, therapy, and surgery. An unqualified medic may accidentally injure a patient or even kill them. The medic comes to the medical unit to work and carries out the treatment while there is someone on the couches. One unit of medication is spent for each treatment cycle. For example, if the patient's sick and health is reduced, two units of medication will be needed for every complete recovery. Great. To store resources, what's in trade? You will need to have a storage module. Okay. Click build. Select storage. Place here. Ba -bum. Wait for the workers to deliver the resources. Whew! Tutorials make me sleepy. Maybe I should have just do dove right into like an actual game. All right, there we go. Only function of this module is convenient storage. Workers collect resources in the boxes through the station and bring them here. Also, if something needs needed, workers and take the resources from the storage. Blah blah blah. It's storage. It doesn't need that big. There's an accident. Testing mission is required. To Repair the damage. Power accident. Life support accident. Power systems accident. One of your crew members is very tired. Fatigue. That means they need to sleep. And then we have no place for them to sleep except on the floor. Alright. Crew quarters. Right next to the medical bay, right? But we have a broken thing. And it's a fire. He's repairing it though, I think. Battery's like dead. Oh, okay, there we go. Salt. Fireman plus six. So our technicians are also firemen. Okay. I wonder if they get like experience or like strength from like carrying stuff around. Standard modules for beds. It's here that you can sleep. If you have a large station, you'll need several modules. Build a research laboratory and develop some new technologies. So here's a science lab. Place here. Do it. So, I mean, in this tutorial, we have five people, full oxygen, full energy. I don't really have any issues with anything. It's pretty straightforward. You can zoom out a little bit. Oh, maybe not. It's not letting me right now. It's 
exclusively for scientists. Conduct scientific experiments and explore new materials. Only one scientist can work in a science lab at any one time. That's kind of messed up. Change him to a scientist. Research role. Only one skill. Science. But yet, a, a, a med medical person has three and a technician has two or three. Moreover, an unprofessional scientist can cause accidents in the lab. Technology tree. My favorites. That's a lot of technology trees. Click on the project button. Manufacturing plant. Oh, it just immediately starts, huh? Okay. Click research. Great. You started researching. You can now build a processing plant. Great. Research tree is quite extensive. Here you can do research, new modules, and the station can make improvements. The screen can be scrolled in all directions. Each project requires a certain amount of research points. These points are awarded to the scientist after each successful shift. Received points are added to the current selected project. Station module needs repair. Repairing modules. Any crew member except for connecting sections will eventually get one out. Blah, blah, blah. Deteriorate. As soon as the gauge fails to zero, the module breaks down and stops working. Repair in a timely manner it requires free technician or repair skill. Non-professional technician can cause further damage. Um, so we're just waiting on the technician. And he's repairing. I can't do anything. <laughs> Guess we're just waiting for him to repair it. Can't speed up. Any day, Techie. Congratulations, you're bringing the module was the last step. Now you can take the advanced training course. Alternatively, you can start playing immediately. Whew. That was a little rough, huh? So let's go ahead and start, I guess, the advanced course. Because this will get more into um, combat, maybe? Or something? I like that like app view thing, though. That view of the station module. That's the gym, huh? Panoramic windows. Make secondary resources. Grow organic matter. Let, yep, let's just go into it. Don't even want to read that much. Let's build a module. Click the build button. Let's do it. Manufacturing plant. Place here. Yes, do it. Wait for the worker. We got it. Okay, so we have two technicians and one worker, it looks like. Maybe. All right, processing plant allows production of resources necessary for construction and well-being of your crew. Production process is simple. Workers bring the necessary resources and choose the right product on the product control panel. The operator comes to his workplace, produces the resource, and adds it to the box. There are 14 resources in the game. Two of them are oxygen and energy. Cannot be stored in boxes or in storage modules. Or metal... Minerals to vaccines and plastic industries, metal to production of spare parts, plastics for spare parts as well, and building modules, uh, organics, production of alcohol, food, medicines, and vaccines, meat is required for food. Food products, they're eaten in inhabitants in the station, medicines for medical, vaccines obviously, alcohol, moved very quickly, yeah, spare parts, repair. On the production. Here you can choose what you want to make and monitor the product. Here you can choose what to make and monitor the progress of production. So two units of ore equals one unit of metal, two units one plastic, so forth and so on and so on, so on, so on. I don't think we get the point. 
Resources are necessary for production and are stored here. That kind of character. Select the role operator. So this is resource process. And so they, they specifically have to be trained for the exact equipment, it looks like. So I'm wondering why you can't just do just, uh, you know, operator or whatever. This profession can come in many skills. So characters with different skills are usually required for production of different resources. Great. Ooh, this is complicated. Let's consider them in more detail. Production of metal and plastic. It requires metallurgy and plastic. Production of food and alcohol is production. Food production and alcohol production. Production of medicines. It's chemistry, virology, ammunition. Ooh. So now they're at the production module. Select plastic. To start production, there must be a minimal amount of materials. All right. So I guess that's the progress. Bing! We just made plastic. Let's put a livestock farm. Livestock farm? Huh. Need to wait. So as you can see, this is, uh, like I said, a bit of a puzzle game. So right now I believe we have infinite uh, oxygen and energy though, so we don't have to worry about that so, because of this is a tutorial. But So this module is intended for the production of meat. No, you don't say. Growing animals from intermediaries, feeding and growth, vaccinations, and harvesting. Each stage successfully a crew member assigned as a farmer works here and takes necessary action. Yep. So right now there are no animals. Some number of animals which are on the farm is equal to the amount of meat produced will be produced. Okay. That kind of character. Let me guess. We have to assign him to the farm. Yep. The main skill for farmers is livestock rearing. What about the biology of hatching the embryos and everything? The higher it is, the more animals on the farm can rear. If not, the number of animals would be decreased and in the end you will get less meat. In case the animals get sick, you will need a doctor with a vet skill. Of course. More skills required. Let's watch what happens. Magical embryo action! Starting incubator! Sounds like a scientist job. Holy crap! 40. Embryos are ready with 40? Holy crap! That's a lot of animals in that tiny space. Need feeding. Of course they need feeding. They just like woke up from some kind of weird birthing process. So I don't know. <laughs> oh man. Growing phase one. They are now teenagers. Feeding. Growing phase two. They are now adults. And they're now fully grown, so it's time to harvest. This is the meat that we just produced. Let's find out how to connect our station to the outside world. Put the space station. It's like the spaceport. Place it here. That's very round. Wait for the workers. Oh, I just realized I don't have the sound on in this game. How sad. There we go. Let's put some sound on. <laughs> Sorry about that. Soundtrack is actually pretty... I don't know. That's pretty nice. Structure gives the opportunity to buy any resources and employ new members of the crew at the supply base. 
After processing the confirm button, the cargo ship flies to the station and after a while it lands at the spaceport. Then the resources are unloaded and the new members of the crew appear and the cargo ship flies away. Prices on the supply base are quite high, so purchasing resources is not very profitable. It's better to produce them yourself. Well, that's unfortunate. Thank you, they have like trade, good options of trade. Supply ship. The heck is that? Ooh. You can select new crew members here, click on the portrait, or any, order any resources. Staff and resources are regularly renewed at the base. The process of buying resources is very simple. Select the required amount within the amount of money you have, and click the confirmation button at the bottom of the screen. To scroll through the screen, use the mouse arrow keys, blah blah blah, let's see what I have. Credit, your credit balance is zero. I don't know, my credit balance is actually 73,000, it's just off. Um, yeah, that's tough. Click the button and the cargo ship will fly to the station. Press exit, because we're not doing anything. Great, now let's see how to sell our resources. Click the build button. So this is a separate one. So the spaceport or supply port, spaceport is more for buying. Trade spaceport is more for selling, I guess. That seems weird. The worker to deliver the resources and technician will need to build this module. Blah 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 blah. Much better with sound, right? <laughs> so what these are for? Just always shows these buttons or whatever. We have our solar stuff over here. I wonder if it'll let me... Nah, I probably won't. Nope. Same menu. Nope. Nope. Cancel. There's no back button. Oh, there it is. Boom. Free landing pad, where any passing merchant ship can land. Merchant ships can appear either regularly or very rarely. If a merchant lands at your station and you want to buy or sell something, switch to the external view mode and click on the merchant. That's annoying. So you can see the merchant pad. Merchant ships stray at your sta stay at your station for a certain time after they fly. So click exterior mode. Now merchant ship visit. Can we zoom out in this mode? No, nope. can't zoom out at all. It's just gonna make us watch him slow boat to the station. At least you have background music now. Bum 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 bum. Don't crash! Ah. Meg blocks. Click on it. So, same type of screen. You can both buy resources from the merchant inside your own. The rest of the controls are the same as the base. Credit balance 64. So. And it gets order. Click the button. Cargo ship will fly to the station. Cancel. All actions, exit. Press exit. See what action control does. <sighs> this information screen contains additional control functions for your station. You can see the distribution of the roles of your crew, financial summary, as well as various statistics. It is very easy to find any member of your crew. Just click on the portrait with the mouse. Scroll through the screen, use the mouse arrow keys, blah blah blah. Oh, that goes downward, okay. Gym, time to build a gym. Select a gym. Wait for the workers to deliver the resources. Speed it up, of course. Oh man. So yeah, these tutorials, definitely not as exciting, because you're cutting out most of the uh, events and effects of the game. Most of the puzzles. <laughs> it's like playing with a puzzle on rails. Uh, improve the physiological characteristics of your crew members. Your characters will move faster, get tired slower, and if necessary, carry more cargo. Crew members will go to the gym and perform various physical exercises. Let's choose a crew member to assign to the gym. We have to assign them? They just go in their free time. Sportsman role? Select the sportsman role. That's way down here. 
That's physical trainer. Um, I'm guessing that's it. Athlete. Boom. Anyone you want to train in the gym needs to be a sportsman. They, they does not go to work. Instead, they train in the gym. Hmm. It's a bit of a spelling error. The character adds. I thought that said rods. I was like, what? One point to the trained perimeter. Each circle of training. Physical is often very tiring, so the characters get tired quickly. It is set by default. Increases the maximum health of the character. Increases the strength of the character. Increases the speed of the character. And the stamina. Let's watch them train. See them right there doing jumping jacks. Excellent. We have successfully increased the health. Ah, there's a button to click. Defense platform, here we go. Now we're getting real. Unfortunately, this uh, isn't fully immersive type combat, it's just combat, so. Life in space is full of dangers. Wandering asteroids, pirates will give you your station no peace. To defend yourself, you'll have to master different types of weapons and build defensive platforms. The simplest weapon that you can defend your station with is the pulse laser. I don't get to see it in this mode though. So basically that's an asteroid attacks. Alright. Well, let's see. We've been going for about... 45 minutes so that that'll complete our introduction to the game if you do want to join into the game feel free to check it out on steam uh, the first non-tutorial i believe is this one nankar 2 15 light years from earth has in orbit several asteroids containing copper iron aluminum and beryllium the largest planet in the system Nankar 2 is covered with a thick layer of ice and snow and has extremely adverse weather conditions and I'm not sure how that affects space, but okay. So with this, you get medium tourists, trade ships, you get many, few pirate activity, few flying asteroids, solar activity, so it's a good intro to the game. Uh, well, I'll certainly try it out sometime. I don't know if I'll actually record it, because I'm not sure if this is one of those games that is worth watching. <laughs> it's more of those where you want to play it, want to manage it, because most of the stuff is going to be numbers and behind the scenes kind of management and tweaking anyway thank you for joining me i appreciate uh, you checking out the game if you do like it or if you have comments on it feel free to leave a comment like subscribe do whatever you need to need, need to do to catch the next one uh let me know if you want to see any particular games what you're currently gaming with uh just as long as it's not PUBG. <laughs> anyway thanks take care brush your hair and all that fun stuff Bye bye